Hello everybody, it's Alana here and I hope you all have been doing well. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. And for those who have subscribed and who have been here for a while, thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. Okay, um, this is the new collaboration that Coach has done. And this is the collaboration they did with Jean-Michel Basquiat. I don't speak French, so I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not. I am just going off of what I've heard others say or what I'm guessing French, <laughs> what the pronunciation would be. But um, anyway, the collection came out last week in stores. I don't know why Coach sent stuff to stores first and then didn't drop them on the website, but supposedly things will begin to, uh, I mean, the collection will hit tomorrow, uh, September 8th. I believe it's 8th, right? What's today? Yep. Tuesday, September 8th, hopefully the collection will drop. For those of you who have been interested to know about the, I mean, um, for those of you who have been wanting to purchase but are not around any stores, ask me in the comments for um, names of sales associates or stores that actually already have this and I will try to help you out for sure. And for those who just want to shop online, check at midnight and keep checking until uh, as much as you can i don't know when y'all go to sleep but um i don't know when it's dropping so who knows and you don't want the stuff to sell out i don't know if they did a lot i've heard that it's just a little capsule collection it's just you know it's pretty limited so Supposedly, they only produced 25 of these, which I highly doubt because coach, I don't even know if they know how to make less than 50,000 of anything. So we shall see. But um, I purchased when I could because I did. I don't know. We don't know how limited this is. So I purchased when, um, when I found out that it first hit the stores. So yes, what I have here are two Rogue 25s and a Rogue Brief 25, along with a little charm and the strap that came with the brief. But before I get actually show you close up um, details of the bag, I mean close up uh, views of the actual items, I wanted to say go check out that artist. This artist um, unfortunately passed away when he was 27 years old and I believe he was Haitian and Puerto Rican. I don't, don't quote me please, I have read um, online but I can't remember all the details because it was last week when I um, when I read about him but um, very interesting life very interesting young man very deep art it's he's just very intriguing um, his life was interesting and um, inspiring really so yeah go check him out I won't go into detail about him himself but um, you please you do do the legwork you guys it's worth it he's pretty inspiring but what I love about this is that Coach actually used, from what I've heard, they, they um, used his family. They involved some of his family in this collaboration, which is super cool. Or when they did this collaboration, they, I guess, consulted his family and decided which pieces to put what, I mean, what to put on which pieces because of what, you know, they're after talking with his family and whatnot. And I believe that his niece was in the runway show when they featured these. So I'm hoping that all of that is true because that would be super cool if they did that if Coach did that. So again, two Rogue 25s and a Rogue Brief 25. I'll start with the, I'll start with this because this is actually the smallest item. This is Pez Dispenser and I believe Basquiat named this uh, dinosaur after the actual Pez Dispenser which is the little candy, the little candy thingy, uh, whatever it is. I haven't had one in um, years so I have no clue what, what actually what it actually is but I believe he kind of I think he named I read I could be wrong the information that I got some of some people were saying on YouTube that it was incorrect but whatever I think pest dispenser the dinosaur was named after the pest dispenser the candy company the the company that named little candy dispenser but um here is the charm it's black which I love has brad brass hardware all the colors here are really cool. The crown is on, on, I believe, all of the pieces, and that's one of the main signatures that Basquiat used on his in his art, I believe. Oh, as an artist, his stuff has sold for, I believe, more than most American artists. I think he has like a record of um, one of his paintings selling for, I can't remember the exact sum of the painting, but he's like in the top 10 highest uh i mean his art one a few of his art pieces are like in the top 10 in history in the world but anyway this is not focusing on this thing anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the next piece but anyway as an artist he was extremely successful here is the um here what 
practice it, buddy. All right, I'll be out there in a few minutes, okay? Here is the Rogue Briefcase 25. Um, if it looks familiar, that's because Coach has already done a Rogue Brief in this same silhouette, but it's larger. I think the larger one kind of, the, the one of the main reasons I liked it was because the size kind of went in or could go in a little. With this one, not quite so much. It's very slim, it's 25 across. I don't know how high it is, but it's the same length as the Rogue 25, but it's a little shorter and much, much thinner. This piece itself was $4.95. The door, buddy. Thank you. $4.95 for this piece. And, oh, and the little charm was $55. This is gloved hand pebble leather, supposedly. It has rogue handles. Here's the 1941 hang tag. The handles are just like the rogue handles. The interior pockets have the jacquard canvas material like the rogues. Um, and the bottom says genuine gloved hand pebble leather just like on the rogues so this is this is gloved hand pebble leather here and on it it doesn't really feel like gloved hand pebble leather of old but you know i could this could just be the bag itself but anyway um oh here's something that i needed to say um right quick the 1941 line has pretty much been blended with the new york line they uh nowhere on any of these bags except right here on the hang tag and only this hang tag not even the hang tag on the other two bags nowhere does it say 1941 that i have seen so far matter of fact on this bag in particular which is a roll part of the roll collection which has always been 1941 these are new york zippers and the this one didn't come with a dust bag and many many coach items don't come with dust bags anymore but um, so these are little hybrids. They have pieces, they have part, parts of the bag are from the 1941 line and parts are from New York. Uh, I don't like that they're doing this, but you know, whatever. Changes, changes. It always happens with every company. Jacquard canvas interior. Jacquard canvas interior with a very uh, long, which is full length. It's a full length pocket. That's leather line, which is really cool. We no longer get the black packet with the bags. Now we get this tiny little whatever the heck this is so annoying you remember that big thick packet that had a nice black covering and everything from the rogues right in the 1941 collection items or 1941 line items well now we don't have that anymore either and also when a bag finally does come with the dust bag it's a satin new york dust bag no longer have the um i mean they no longer produce the um thick cotton 1941 dust bags but i mean it's fine whatever so here is the bag here is the nice wide strap it's black says famous in embossed lettering here and it has this crown here which again i believe was one of his signature one of his signatures that he put on um a lot or all of his art pieces i don't remember the hardware is nickel the strap itself is very adjustable it's very soft too it's a very nice easy to use strap and of course the strap is attached to these so that's the rogue 25 brief here are the two rogue 25s they along with these two they did um a black one with the word famous just like that strap i just showed you they did all black with the word famous embossed on the front they also did like a light bluish grayish rogue with um with uh, snakeskin handles. And then they did two 39s, two row 39s, and what else? Um, like a, a ton of other little small items. Not many small leather goods, but they did um, small bags, little small crossbodies. They did a glasses case. Um, but who knows? They might have a whole lot of uh, SLGs that hit the website. Who knows? This is Elm in smooth glove tan leather. Here is Pez on the front again. Pez is embroidered here. The red part is embroidered and so is the uh, the outline of the crown, the black outline. Very cool. The details are incredible on these little things. And here's Coach and Jean-Michel Jean Basquiat. I keep saying Jean-Pierre. I don't know who the heck that is. The sides are suede with glove tan trim. Oh, the overlay is a glove tan. And this says, hey, with like a splatter of paint. The other side is the exact same now these zippers are 1941 zippers but nowhere else on the bags does it say 1941 or have that symbol that goes under there here is the back 
all of that is uh, not embossed, embroidered. Super cool. Very obvious askew, odd, off base, and odd is in glitter thread. Very soft glove tan leather. It doesn't feel like my other glove tan leather rogues, my smooth glove tan leather rogues, or any other smooth glove tan. Um, well, I guess it feels like, well, no, it's softer. It's definitely softer. However, it's not, it's not as soft as the interior 1941 glove tan um, leather. The interior is the exact same. However, with the new rogues, I'll show you after I show you this Empire Rogue here. With the new rogues, they add, they made some, they, they added some stuff and they also, they, they just, they, they redid it. By the way, the Rogue is back. They, they had discontinued it and we had heard a rumor that they were going to redo it, but I mean, who knows for sure? Well, they did. They redid it and they added some really cool features to it. Here is the Empire Rogue. And it's in the color ivory with elm handles and hang tag. The hang tag is the exact same as the other one, Jean, um, Coach and Jean-Michel Basquiat. The, um, some of the empire, some of the buildings here are embroidered in a really thin stitch and glitter stitch also with embossed painted whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, super cool. Here's this side, it has some of the graffiti-like art here on the side, which is super cool. Trying to show you all here. But my camera's loving Pez over there and the pillows. Very cool, very cool. Let me show you this. The coach even added some underneath the zipper. Very cool. They did the same on the other side. I mean, there is different graphics on the other side, but um, the same idea. The interior of these rogues are the exact same. The interior of the zipper compartment are the exact same. Here are the differences. I'm gonna move this and show you the differences in the rogue. One of the main differences is that they added pockets into the side open compartment. They've got a slip pocket, leather lined here, leather lined slip pocket, and then they have a, car, a full leather card, yep, full leather credit card slot here. And um, the biggest difference, aside from that, is what they did to the handles. Notice this, the handles drop down now because Coach added a little mechanism here in the, um, on the ring right between the leather here. I'll try to get a close up. They added a little mechanism right there that allows the handle to uh, move like this backwards and still be stuffed into the interior like that. So those are two differences. They added back the leather strips, which is awesome. I knew they were supposed to be there. Apparently Coach thought so too. So apparently Coach missed them. I knew there was a reason they were there. I knew they were just decoration. So they're added back. They didn't add the clochette back, but whatever. And um, another big difference is Coach added a long strap to the Rogue. Very nice, it's adjustable. And we, we use it the same way we use um, the doubled up leather, uh, the doubled up shoulder straps or novelty straps. You put one here and one on the opposite side on the other side of the opposite side of the bag, if that makes sense. Adjustable and it's very nice, it's nice and thick. So along with these additions, Coach added $200 to the price. So now the Rogue is, the Rogue 25, is $7.95. So the rogue starts at $7.95 and then goes up. <laughs> MTO rogues, made to order rogues used to be the only ones that were that expensive. But you know, coach coach added stuff, so they now feel that the price should be different. Anyway, so that's the collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you see anything that you like and you want to purchase it, um I guess wait till it drops on the website. Hopefully, hopefully it drops at a time when most people are awake. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know how Coach does things. But if you want, again, numbers or names of stores that actually carry any of this, if they haven't sold out, then I will try to pass that information along. But you can call any boutique and they may have some left or they may be able to direct you to um, other stores that have them. All right. So let me know what you think of this collection. And please, again, look up that artist and familiarize yourself with who he was and and um, some of his pieces. All right, take care of yourselves, y'all. I hope you have a fantastic Labor Day. Bye.